What's up everyone? Okay, um, this video was something that, you know, I never wanted to come out with this video. <laughs> I might keep saying that about other videos, but um, this person, Boston Lloyd, um, has done numerous videos just fucking hating big time. He's done Facebook posts, he's, he's, done, he's he, for whatever reason, he's pissed the fuck off right and he just keeps on going and I don't really have time to sit and have a little two-year-old argument on the internet and um, you know it's it's what do you do you know um, I don't really understand it I mean my first question would be why are you so concerned with my life and what I'm doing why are you so caught up in it um, I don't really pay attention to what you're doing I really don't care what you're doing and in the past you've assumed that my videos were aimed at you and that is hysterical um, I don't know why you would think that you're such a big entity in the world that I would be focusing on making videos about you because I hate to break it to you but you're really not that big of a star in the industry and you're not someone that I even fucking pay attention to you know and that's the truth so for you to just assume videos I'm making are about you is fucking crazy. My IGF-1 video is telling the truth about IGF-1. It's all fucking fake bullshit. There is only two companies that are FDA approved to produce IGF-1 where the FDA checks every single batch to verify it is exactly what it's supposed to be. Two companies. Okay, and your company nor the company you used to fucking work for, whatever you want to call it, um, neither of those are the two companies. And I'm sure you know the companies I'm talking about. You know, so we have Increlix, which is FDA approved. You get a prescription from a doctor, you go to the pharmacy, and you get real IGF 1. Okay, when you go to the pharmacy and get a 40 milligram bottle, Yes, 40 milligram bottle. It's gonna cost you about $9,000. Okay, this is real IGF-1. Now the other company is Vicrin. And with Vicrin, it's the same exact thing. A company that is FDA approved, you have to get a doctor's prescription, you have to get clear to the doctor, and then you can go to the pharmacy and pick up the drug, or the drug cup go to the drug company, but these are the only two real IGF ones out there that the FDA checks every fucking batch. And how much does growth hormone cost, people? How much does it cost? Okay, real growth hormone, real growth hormone. How much does it cost? Not fake growth hormone. Well, real IGF one is better than real growth hormone. Do you guys get that? It's better. So it's more expensive. So it, it's, you, anyway. <laughs> I'm just telling people the truth. That video had nothing to do with you or your little, small, little fucking business that I could care less about. So let's get that straight. Um, when I talked about Nolatil, uh, that had nothing to do with you. <laughs> I don't know why you would think it had something to do with you. It's pretty fucking crazy that you assume I'm talking about you when I don't give a fuck about you. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Think about it. You really think I fucking watch your shit or know what you're, you really, do you really believe that inside that Rich Piana is watching Boston Lloyd? Come on, man. <laughs> so anyway, I've never in my life talked shit about Boston Lloyd. Not once. I've never talked shit ever about Boston Lloyd because as far as I knew, we were friends. You know, the last time I saw him, we shot together, we trained together, we ate lunch together. You know, he picked my brain for about two hours, you know, when we were eating at Chipotle. And I thought we were friends, you know, I didn't, I had no idea where this came from and I was clueless when he started doing this shit. And I, I have a text on my phone that the night before the, the Orlando Expo, I text him and said, hey brother, are you going to the Expo? And he said, yeah, he goes, I'm gonna be there, I'm just not sure what day. He said, we might go to, uh, you know, the theme parks, whatever, so I'm not sure what day I'm gonna go. And I said, okay, cool. I said, you know, stop by my booth 
and hang out for a little bit, say what's up. And I said, you know, you don't have to wait in line, just walk in like you own the fucking place. And he said, ha ha, laugh out loud, that was funny. I have it on my motherfucking phone if, if anyone doubts this. And uh, so that's the last time we spoke. And right like a day or two after the Orlando Expo, boom, he started coming out with all this fucking hate and shit. So I don't know if he walked by my booth and he saw that I had the biggest fucking crowd in the fucking expo and he was jealous. I don't know what, honestly, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Um, but I kind of have an idea now. I finally kind of put this shit together. So we'll get to that a little later. But um, I, I want to, <laughs> I'd like to ask his dad, you know, John Lloyd. John is the most stand-up, honest, fucking incredible person, one of the most incredible people I've ever met. I, I talk to John on a daily basis at Golds Northridge. I, my first house I bought was in Northridge. I trained at Golds Northridge. You know, Boston's parents owned that gym and then they sold it to uh, John and Mike, which is Boston's stepdad and a third partner, I can't remember his name. So, you know, I talked to Mike on a daily basis also and when Mike bought the gym along with the other John, you know, John and Mike were there all the time. I talked to him on a regular basis. And I got to say that both of these guys, his dad and his stepdad, are awesome stand-up, fucking secure fucking guys, you know? And I just don't know why Boston turned out to be such an insecure little bitch, you know? Why he, you know, he's just like, all he has is hate on everybody, talks shit about everybody, and he's just so fucking insecure and just like a little fucking girl, you know? And I don't know why. And I would love to talk to John Lloyd and say, dude, why is your son such a little fucking bitch? Like, what happened? Like, because he had two, he had three great parents that raised him, you know? And I don't know what the fuck happened. But I have an idea, and we'll get to that a little later. <laughs> so, basically, I believe it was yesterday. Um, he posted on Facebook, you know, people are fucking hitting me up. Uh, Someone, two people text me and shot me a fucking picture of the post, you know, and that's how I saw this shit. And it's basically that all the 5% are athletes look like shit. And I'm tired of Rich Piana posting you can eat whatever you want when him and all his athletes look like shit. Something to that effect. And what he doesn't understand is not everybody wants to be a competitive fucking bodybuilder. And knowing what you know about the industry, I think you would realize that it's not, not everyone wants to fucking live that lifestyle, Boston. I mean, think about it. You know, I mean, everyone has a choice to do what they want to do. And also you got to realize that um, I don't just sponsor bodybuilders. And some people are idiots and they don't realize that. But, you know, I can have a picture of me with a fighter that has fought in Bellator twice who's an incredible fighter, and people will say, ha, that guy has no calves. He's a fighter. <laughs> Fighters don't really work on building their calves. It's not really something that helps their sport. Um, it's like making fun of a basketball player that's skinny, you know, or making fun of a power lifter that's heavy. I mean, people are pretty fucking stupid to not understand this. And yeah, I'm talking about you are pretty fucking stupid to not understand this. But I'm going to show you some images of some of the bodybuilders that are on the 5% team that completely demolish you. That you are a little bitch next to these guys that you're talking shit to. These are IFBB pros. This is, whether you want to admit it or not, this is a dream of yours. And that's what you have always wanted is to turn pro. Now you're saying, oh, I would turn it down. And you're talking shit. You know, you, you want to be a successful bodybuilder, but you realize you don't have the potential and it'll never happen. And you can blame it on, well, now, you know, their politics. No, you don't have it. Think about this shit. I mean, do you realize how fucking shitty you look? How fucking small you are? You know, I mean, Lee Priest summed it up. I mean, <laughs> go watch Lee Priest's fucking video. He summed that shit up. And it's basically that you take more shit than every pro I know. And I know a lot of fucking pros. And pros ask me fucking questions about their cycle and ask, they want to know this. And they, I know what the fuck a lot of these guys are taking. 
And I'm telling you, you take more shit than the fucking pros and you look like shit. So I can understand your fucking anger because if I was taking as much shit as you are and looking like you do, I'd be pissed as fuck. I would be out of my fucking mind. And when I heard that so-and-so was taking 500 milligrams of test and 200 milligrams of equipoise, yeah, I'd be like, oh, that's bullshit. Ah, oh, he's lying. He, ah, he takes more than that. Because you can't believe that this guy could look better than you taking less shit. But guess what? It's true. You're taking way too much shit and you look like shit. You know, I mean, I'll post a picture of me and you like sitting together and you look like a little bitch. I mean, you, you look like you're natural. Seriously, I'm not, I'm just being honest. Like, look at the picture, you know? And it's amazing to me that your whole life is steroids. Everything you do is steroids. Your company's name is, is steroids, steroids, steroids. Now, if you're gonna put that image out that your whole life revolves around steroids and all you care about is taking drugs and you're showing yourself, injecting yourself constantly, you need to fucking be big. You need to fucking, you need to be big and impressive. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't look the way you do, you know, talking about what you do. It doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? If you were smart, you would tell people you're natural and then at least some people will be impressed and be like, wow, that's pretty good for natural. But saying you're taking all this shit and I'm taking this and that and 3,000 milligrams of tests and that, it's making you look like fucking shit, man. And I was to hire you, would you still bullshit me on low dosages or say, if I'm like, Dave, I've been on three grams of, of, of tests my whole off season. Would you keep me on three grams of tests or would you lower me? I would lower you. I have to be honest with you. you know, we're, I'm a very honest guy too. I, I don't believe you need that much gear. I'm going to tell you, I've told you that before. And you know, you and I have done work together. I've done your diet. I know you, you did your own gear type stuff, dosages, so, but me, I don't, I don't think you need that you much. Have you ever I've, heard of a pro take three to three grams of test or more? I'm not, I, they may do that, but I know back in the day, I know that guys like Dorian Yates and, and, and Coleman, they didn't need to do that much gear. There's no reason in the world you should be taking that much shit. And that's Rich Piana telling you that shit. <laughs> and I take a lot of shit. But nowhere near have I ever taken anything close to what you're taking. And you look like shit. How many times do I have to say that? Now, in your last show, yeah, you got pretty shredded, but you, you have like hardly any muscle. You know, and I'm just being honest with you. And the gains you're making, are very minimal you know I mean how many how much gains you make in a year is 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 laughable for as much shit as you're taking you know it, it's it's unfucking believable and you know uh, I understand why you hate I understand why you're so pissed off because you know you're taking all this shit and you're fucking not getting anywhere you know and it's it's and I know it, it must suck because there's guys out there that are taking very little that their physique demolishes yours, you know? And again, the athletes that I have already shown completely demolish you in every way, yet you're talking shit about my athletes. That doesn't make any sense. And most of the people you've talked shit about have looked better than you. How do you, how does that even make sense to you? You talk shit about other pro bodybuilders and it's because you're jealous and you're a hater because you're jealous because you're talking about everyone that's better than you. All these guys you talk shit about are all better than you. Every single one of them. What makes, I don't, I don't understand how your mind works. You're going to look at someone, know they're better than you. You're going to be pissed off about it because you're taking more shit than them, but you're going to go talk shit about them. Like that, are you fucking retarded? I mean, you look retarded with your fucking cross eyes. You look like a fucking retard. So maybe you are retarded, and if you are retarded, I apologize. But, yeah, I fucking say it how it is, goddammit. So, let's talk about why Boston Lloyd is so fucking pissed off at Rich Piana. Why he's so fucking angry, why he will not let up, why he's so obsessed with me. Why are you so obsessed with me? You know, I mean, I, Anyone that thinks about this shit for a minute, you'll come to the conclusion when another man is obsessed with another man. It's, I'm not obsessed with any motherfucker out there. I don't give a fuck about any motherfucker. And I'm definitely not obsessed. 
and I'm definitely not fucking knowing, knowing all their shit, and I'm definitely not fucking go and talk about someone for no reason. I just don't have the, it, I don't understand it, it makes no sense. But let's talk about why you're so fucking angry, Boston! Why are you so angry? Let's talk about it. Let's fucking let it out. Let's let the world know. Okay, so when I shot the videos with Boston that he wanted to shoot, he wanted to shoot videos. And another thing is Boston has wanted to be on my fucking team. That's one reason why he's so fucking pissed. Now, what people don't understand about 5% is it's all positive. It's all motivational, okay? We are positive, we motivate, and we try to bring each other up. You know, I, I can't stand little bitch fucking haters. I fucking can't stand them. And I don't have any haters as far as I know on my team. I don't give a fuck how good they look if they're a, a fucking hating little bitch. I don't want them part of my team because that's not what I'm about. I'm about positive, motivating, we're all in this together, let's fucking be a family and let's fucking do this shit together and let's stay positive, you know? And you can, you can compliment someone or you can tear them down. No matter who you look at in the world, you can either compliment them or tear them down. And there's people that just tear them down, tear them down, tear them down. And those are the kind of people I don't want to associate with and I definitely don't want them on my fucking team, right? Now, I'm gonna post some pictures of Boston Lloyd wearing 5% clothes. And as you'll see, he fucking wore them all the time, taking pictures in them and, you know, Blah, 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 asking me for more shit. Now, he wanted to be on the team, but I couldn't allow him to be on the team because he's such a little bitch hater. I didn't say that to him because I'm a nice guy. But that's the truth. And, you know, I, I can't believe, he, most of his fans are, are haters. And that's why they follow him, because they like hating. So he hates on something and they jump in and they're like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And it's a big group of fucking just negative fucking haters. You know, and it's like, it doesn't make any sense, you know, put your energy in a positive place, you know, and worry about yourself and make yourself better. I mean, that's the way I see it. Be the best you can be and just worry about yourself. Don't worry about anyone else. You know, it doesn't matter what anyone else is doing. You know, if they're not directly doing something to you, then who gives a fuck? You know, that's the way I see it. So, um, so that's one reason. Uh, another reason is that when we filmed, his girlfriend was there, and we wanted to film her also, but we just didn't have enough time. Me and Boston made like four or five videos. You know, we went and, you know, had dinner together. We fucking sat and talked for two hours. Um, you know, we, we, we did one of the videos at Venice Beach. We did some of them at the, at the you know, the old Northridge Golds gym. So we just didn't have enough time. So I wanted to film her, but didn't have enough time. So couple months late, maybe, I don't know, four months later, I'm just throwing numbers out. Her and Boston were no longer together. So I contacted her and I said, hey, you know, would you like to film some shit? She's like, yeah, that'd be great. Okay, cool. We set it up. She came down from Florida and um, we shot some videos. And I'm sure if you guys haven't seen the video, you're going to need to go watch it. But it's, I'm sure you've seen it. It's fucking all over. People won't stop talking about it. But it's basically... You know, do your balls hang lower than your dick? You know, or does your dick hang lower than your balls? Well, preferably, preferably, you'd rather have your dick hang lower than your balls, right? I mean, come on. You know, and uh, that's what the video was about. And it was about balls shrinking and so forth. It's a pretty fucking funny video. And I basically took a negative situation that the general public likes to talk shit about bodybuilders, and I turned it into a positive. And that's what I like to do. I like to take something that's been thought of as negative for many years and people are embarrassed about and I can flip it around and I can turn it into a positive to where you're no longer embarrassed about it. Now you're actually confident about it. You see what I'm saying? So in other words, guys have asked me, like, dude, my balls shrink and I'm embarrassed. I don't, I don't want any girls to see my balls because they shrunk and what can I do to make them come back? And I'm like, dude, like, your dick looks bigger when your balls are shrunk. Girls don't give a fuck about your balls, at least the girls I've dated. They don't fucking care about my balls. They're not sucking my balls. They're not playing with my balls. You know, so balls don't really matter to girls. So it's only gonna make your fucking dick look bigger and make the girl more turned on. So it's actually a good thing for your balls to shrink a little bit. So that was the flip on the, on the fucking, you know, scenario that I like to do is I have people come to me 
oh God, I'm insecure about some shit, and I can turn it around and turn it into a positive. And they'll be like, oh shit. They'll go home, they'll look in the mirror, and they'll be like, God damn, actually my dick does look bigger. Fuck, this is actually a good thing. Hello? You know, that's how I live life. I turn everything into a positive. Whatever the fuck happens in my life, it doesn't matter. I can flip it into a positive and fucking feel good and be happy and move on. That's what life's about, is being positive. You know, there is no negative shit. You can't, you can't, there is, don't go negative. Stay positive about everything. Everything you can flip into a positive. So that was the video, but the, watch the video and you know, me and his ex-girlfriend are hysterically laughing about, you know, guys with small dicks, guys that, you know, that their dick can't hang lower than their balls because they have a little tiny dick. And so we're laughing about it, making fun of it. Dick hang lower than the balls. Of course you would rather see a dick hang lower than the balls. Now, some guys are blessed and have big fucking dicks and some guys are fucked and have little motherfucking dicks. Boston, we, we weren't talking shit about you. I mean, that was definitely wasn't the case. It was just a funny video that had to do with that topic. It wasn't about you, but when your picture got out, <laughs> I saw what I saw, <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, <laughs> now I know why this motherfucker is so angry. I mean, I would slice my fucking wrists. I would fucking, I would kill myself if I had a fucking dick that small. I mean, my fucking thumb is going to do a girl many more pleasure than your little fucking dick, and I would be out of my fucking mind if I had a dick like that. I'm, I'm just... I'm just being honest. That is my honest to God fucking, um, that's the truth. You know, I mean, you're not trying to know, you're not doing shit for any woman with that fucking dick. You ain't doing shit. I hope you can eat a girl out like a motherfucker. I hope you have practiced that shit. You got it down so good because that's the only thing that's, that, that's all you got, man. And I can understand why you're angry. You see me and your ex-girlfriend laughing about small dicks and blah, blah, blah. So it pisses you off. You think we're fucking that she told me you had a small dick, you know, whatever, you know, which a lot of girls have told me you have a small dick. So <laughs> it's kind of like a known thing. Um, and then this picture doesn't help, you know, and, uh, you know, the picture's all over the internet. You guys Google, you know, uh, Boston Lloyd porn and you'll see all kinds of shit. You'll see, you know, girls talking about how he sent them uh, fake dick pictures, you know, to hook up with them. And then once they met, they saw his dick and they were like, are you fucking kidding me? And they fucking walked out on him. And it's on, uh, I don't know, some kind of, what is it, secret or some shit? It's on the dirty, I guess. Anyway, there's all kinds of shit on there, you know, all kinds of, you know, but, you know, his, his, his dick picture's on there. So if you haven't seen it and you want a fucking hysterical fucking laugh and really feel sorry for the guy, go check the picture out. Boston Lloyd porn. And, uh, wow. <laughs> shit. And now I understand where the fucking anger comes from. I get it. And just for the record, um, I didn't fuck your ex-girlfriend. So that didn't happen. So if that's, if you think that, or I don't think you think that because she's a very honest girl and she's truthful. And I'm sure she told you because I think you guys started seeing each other again and this and that. I don't know what the fuck. I, whatever. But um, I'm sure she told you that. There, nothing happened between us whatsoever. So uh, she didn't get the chance to compare my shit to your shit, uh, thankful to you. But on that note, it really doesn't matter because any guy she sleeps with for the rest of her life is gonna have a bigger dick than you. So you're fucked no matter what. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. Any girl that you sleep with from this day on, if you and your current girlfriend don't stay together, every dick she's had before you was fucking three, four times bigger than yours. So remember that shit next time you're fucking a girl. <laughs> oh my God. It's fucking. So anyway, that's why Boston Lloyd is so fucking angry, I think. And, you know, he even mentioned it in a video with Dave Palumbo. Rich is making these videos, uh, you know, the dick hangs longer than the balls and it's like. Uh, do you think that you're more hardcore than uh, Rich Piana now? Oh, he's a phony. He's a phony. He sucks. Then you got shit about making videos about if your dick hangs long, what, you know, lower than your balls. Wow. Okay. You're really letting it out now. That's why you're pissed. 
And the, the whole crazy thing is that, Boston, I wasn't talking about you. That had nothing to do with you. You're so fucking insecure that you think all this shit's going on that's not happening. I never talked shit about you ever, ever in my life. Not to anyone, not on social media, never. And if I was gonna talk shit, I would say your name. Do you think I'm scared to say your name, Boston Lloyd? Do you think I'm, oh no, Boston's gonna kick my ass, I better not say his name. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, he made a video and he, he, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't say, what the fuck, are you kidding me? And it's funny how you, in one of your videos, you said that Rich goes and has videos taken down that are hating on him. Boston, I have about 80 fucking videos up hating on me. I take them down? No, there's like 80 videos hating on me. Go look on the internet, they're all over the place. I don't give a fuck. Now, it's funny that you say that on video, but I have an email from YouTube saying you're trying to get my videos taken down. And I will show that on the video. The email is sent to me from YouTube saying that you are trying to take my videos down, but yet you go out there and tell people that I'm doing that to you. Well, no, I have not, I don't give a fuck. There's a shitload of videos out of me talking shit to all kinds of people, including you. I haven't tried to get them taken down. I can get them taken down like this. I don't give a fuck, I don't have time for this shit. It's just a bunch of jealous little bitches gossiping like little girls and you know, they're jealous or insecure and the smart people know this. The smart people see that and they're like, wow, that person is so bothered by this person. Like, Jesus Christ, like they're just showing their insecurities. See, smart people know this. So that's why I kind of like to leave that shit up because it shows the truth to the smart people. There are smart people out there that know why people hate. And I think there's more smart people than dumb people. And I think a lot of people know why people hate and it's out of jealousy, insecurity, and it's someone they want to be like, but they know they never will. Bottom line. And again, people that hate never hate on people worse than them. They always hate on people better. Always. So you started a gay for pay website business. And your reasoning was there's tons of bodybuilders out there that want to jack off for the camera and there's tons of people out there that want to watch bodybuilders jack off at the camera and that's what you proposed before you started the business. And I'm happy to see that you were wrong and not everyone thinks the way you think, thank fucking God, <laughs> that, that not all bodybuilders are wanting to jack off in front of a camera like you thought and you said. Um, guess what? There's a lot of bodybuilders out there that are working and being successful and working a nine to five job because that's what they choose. And you said that you would rather jack off in front of a camera than work a nine to five job. You say something about a gay for pay site that you are uh, running now. What, what is the, the premise of it? I mean, it's anything. If a female Males could sign up, males could sign up. You you know, you could jack off on camera, you could do whatever the hell you want on camera, it doesn't matter. I have a big following of bodybuilders and a lot of them would love to, instead of working a nine to five, do gay shit on camera. Yeah. I mean, I would rather masturbate on camera than work a nine to five. Would you would you do that would if you needed the money? Oh yeah. I would I would rather do that than than work a nine to five one hundred percent. Okay. Um, I mean, I mean, back in your bodybuilding day, what would you would you rather do that? No, I probably wouldn't have done that. I, you know what? But I, I, I always had a way of making money in terms of, um, you know, doing seminars, and I had and back then supplement contracts were were big, uh, so I wasn't desperate. I don't know. I never got to the de desperate stage. So, you were wrong. Um, you're one of the very few people out there that would rather jack off in front of a camera. Um, than work a nine to five job. I'm just being honest with you. Um, I don't know why you think that in your head, but that's your world, not everyone else's world. And um, I don't know if you realize, but you know that's that's basically gay for pay. That you know you're open and fine with doing gay for pay, which is your shit. That's your business. And in the past, you have talked so much shit about other people doing gay for pay. And yet, now you would you say live on RX Muscle that 
you would do gay for pay before you work a nine to five job. So again, the, the, the hypocrite in you comes out again that when you hate on stuff, this is stuff that you, you know, really want to do. And it's, you know, it's just like we know that, you know, these guys that, 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 hate, that hate on, you know, gay guys or bash or whatever you want to call it, these guys are, are really gay inside and they hate it. You know, and that's the truth, you know, and, you know, you're talking shit about other people doing gay for pay and then you fucking go on Arctic Muscle and admit that you'd fucking do that in a second. And, you know, that's, that's your business. I don't really give a fuck. I'm just pointing out that, you know, don't be a fucking hypocrite, man. <laughs> like, come on, you know? Um, I mean, everything you say is, you know, it's funny because in the RX Muscle video, you talk about that you're making like $40,000 a month or some shit from uh, the peptide bond company you were with. And then I think like the next day or two days later, you announced that you're no longer with them. And then you start saying that you were, they were stealing all your money and you're only making like a couple thousand a month. And it's like, <laughs> two days later, you know, you're making 40 grand and then you're making a couple of grand, they're ripping you off. And you know, you, you claim you were a part owner, you weren't part owner, you were getting paid to be a fucking employee, you know? And you know, it's just, you know, anyway, whatever. It's your business, but you're just a goddamn fucking hypocrite, no matter how you look at it. Whatever comes out of your fucking mouth, it's the opposite. Okay, another thing that you say on the RX Muscle interview is that you send your guy friends dick pictures. And it's funny. And they send you dick pictures back. And these are your close friends, and it's fun, and this is what you guys do. And then Dave questions you on it, like, you can't believe you're fucking saying this shit. I couldn't believe you're saying this shit. Like, wow. And um, and then you say, this is what bodybuilding's about, Dave. Well, fuck, okay. Dave. I have a dick picture on the internet right now, and I sent it to a guy. <laughs> Why, why did you, hold on, why did you send you a, a picture of your penis I, to a guy? I, always said, I used to always send dick pictures to my guy friends, like out of the, the shower when I look my best, like, hey, what's up? <laughs> that, some people would construe that as being, you know, a little gay, wouldn't you think? Oh, yeah, they would construe that as hella gay, but my friends are my good friends. They, like, they laugh. They'll send the same pictures back, like, uh, bro, how do you think I look? That's just bodybuilding, you know what I mean? Boston. This is not what bodybuilding is about. Bodybuilding is not about bodybuilders sending dick pictures to each other. Maybe in your world and your mind, that's what bodybuilding is about. But in my world and everyone I know, bodybuilding is not about sending each other dick pictures. That is nothing to do with bodybuilding. That is something to do with Something completely different that I'm not even going to go down that road. But I think everyone knows what it's really about. All right? And I can't even fucking believe that you even fucking said that shit. Like, yeah, I send my guy friends dick pictures. And when I get out of the shower and I look my best, I take a picture of me and my dick and I send it to my guy friends. And then they send me one back. And you're, you're serious. <laughs> <laughs> and Dave is like, you look at Dave and he's like, <laughs> like during the interview, you see Dave make gestures and he's just like blown the fuck away. <laughs> like when you guys were talking about the synthol and you started to kind of argue and he's just like, I'm not even going <laughs> to, I'm not even going to argue with this guy because it's so useless because he's so fucking stupid and everything he's saying, you know, it, it's fucking unbelievable. So, um, it was a crack up. Um, Dave Palumbo is an incredibly smart man and he has an incredible amount of knowledge and uh, Boston Lloyd is fully aware of that and you can see when Boston and him kind of debated, Boston gave in to him because Boston knows 100% that Dave Palumbo has a million times more information on every aspect of bodybuilding, drug use, food, diet, everything. Dave Palumbo is incredibly smart and you could tell by watching their interview that Boston Lloyd's aware of this and he did not debate him. He kind of gave in to whatever Palumbo said. Um, he sort of tried to kind of in a roundabout way try to get him what he wanted to say and sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't but um, I think that video told a lot. So 
on that note, um, I have a lot more I could say, but there's a lot of shit I don't need to say. I don't need to bring other people into this shit. But um, it's like, I, I didn't want to make this video, but when someone keeps swinging at you and swinging at you, you can only move, you know, so much before you're going to be like, all right, fuck it, I'm going to knock this fucker out, you know, and I, I let people swing, you know, and I kind of move and dodge and, you know, whatever, and eventually, you know, you got to swing back, you know, you, you know, you try to do the right thing, you try to be the right person, um, you know what's best, you know, ignore the hate, ignore the shit, um, but on the other hand, you know, you can only fucking dodge so much to where you just got to you know, pop that person, and this is, you know, this is a little jab, you know, a little jab back, and hopefully you'll come to your senses and realize that, yeah, why am I doing this? This doesn't make any sense. Why don't I just worry about my own shit, you know? <laughs> so, uh, hopefully, maybe not, you know, but, um, anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great day, and, uh, I hope this hits home, Boston. I hope you realize that it doesn't make any sense to be being a little bitch, you know, grow up a little bit and just worry about your shit and, you know, be successful and make your business successful. And, you know, that's that's what it's all about. You know, be the best you can be and don't worry about these other people. Don't worry about, you know, these guys that are better than you. You know, just hold it in and get better than them. That's 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 what you need to do. You know, that's that's the real way to handle this shit is hold it in and tell yourself, I'm going to be better than this motherfucker, you know. Whoever it is you're jealous and insecure about, become better. Work hard to become better. Work harder than them. Become better than them. That is the best way to get back at them. Not talking shit. Not being a little bitch hater. That's not going to solve anything. It's not really going to make you feel better either. You know, it's because it's basically admitting that this person is better. I know they're better and I know I'll never be as good. So all I can do is hate, you know, shut the mouth, do the work and you can be as fucking successful as you want. You can be as big as you want, and you could be whatever you want to be in life. But you know, your first your first step is to shut the fuck up and just do the work. You know, that's 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 how you handle it. So maybe I talked some sense into you, maybe I didn't. But anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day. Talk to you later.